Hello everybody, this is Angry Shoes, and today I want to introduce a new series. A new series called Tips and Tricks of Minecraft. This new series will be a set of videos that will explore some of the more tricky aspects of Minecraft. The videos will be short and hopefully comprehensive. They will be a little bit more in depth, uh, hopefully a little bit more comprehensive. So I hope you will all enjoy Tips and Tricks of Minecraft. We're going to get started with the first episode, so let's get ready. In today's episode, we're going to look at one of the basics of Minecraft, finding your Minecraft folder. If you're on a Mac, you can pretty much just go to Spotlight, type in Minecraft, and see if you can find it there. If you're like me, though, you will have a lot of different files that have the name Minecraft on them. The other way to find it is to go to your Finder. Under your User, you go to Library, Application Support, Minecraft. From here is where you will find some pretty useful folders. You have your Texture Pack folder, your Saves folder, and your Bin folder. The Spin folder contains your Minecraft.jar. The Texture Pack folder is important if you want to use Texture Packs. All you have to do is, we'll download a new one here. This one is for 1.6. Download it and just insert the zip file. There it is. All you have to do to install a texture pack is take the zip file, remember to keep it in the zip file, and stick it right into the texture pack folder. Once it's there, if the texture pack is made correctly, you should be able to just open up Minecraft, go to mods and texture packs, and you will find the texture pack there. Clicking on it will turn it on. We'll try it out here. And there we go, new texture pack. The other important thing to do here is find your saves. Here we already have a test world. It's important that if you're going to be adding mods or messing around with Minecraft in any way, you might want to take that, that world and save it somewhere else. I usually just move it, or you can always just make a copy of it and place it somewhere safe. Whatever floats your boat when it comes to that. Along with that texture pack and the saves, you will then find your minecraft.jar. This is important if you want to install mods, mostly because you can open it. You can open it with archive utility and that will make you a folder that has all the information in that minecraft.jar. Then to install mods, all you have to do is get rid of the old minecraft.jar folder and rename this one minecraft.jar. We're not going to do that today. Today, I'm going to show you a way to Create to open up that Minecraft.jar folder without having a archive utility. In order to open the Minecraft.jar without using archive utility, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a terminal screen. You can do that by just going to the spotlight and typing in terminal, finding it right there. And you're going to need this little bit of code. What we're going to do first is we're going to make a Minecraft folder for us to put everything in. So we're going to enter each one of these bits of codes one at a time. CD space squiggly mark, whatever that is. Then you're going to put a make directory Minecraft. Hit enter and you can see it's already made that Minecraft folder for me. Now we're going to do CD Minecraft and what this will do is it'll select that folder we just made. There it is, Minecraft. And then this last piece of code here will take everything in that minecraft.jar file and put it into our Minecraft, our new Minecraft folder. So we type it in or copy it in, hit enter. We can look over here and everything is right there. This whole code will be available in the description so you don't have to memorize it. You can just copy and paste like I did. Remember to type in or copy one piece of code at a time and then hit enter. Now that we do have our new Minecraft, go away, our new Minecraft folder, we can rename it Minecraft.jar, add, and we can start adding in all of our mods. Now remember, we have to actually replace this with our, with the Minecraft.jar file that exists in the Minecraft folder under application support. So you're going to go application support, Minecraft, bin, and put it right in there and yes we are going to replace it 
Okay. Now we no longer have that minecraft.jar file, now I have a minecraft.jar folder. From here we can actually start installing our mods and I'll just quickly install the uh, mod pack that I usually use. We'll open the mod loader, take all the code, dump it right into that minecraft.jar, apply all, replace. We'll take the mod pack, oops, I think that's something, we'll reopen it using our archive utility. And there it goes, opening it all up. Stuff it. Sorry, I guess not archive utility, stuff it expander. And this time we can take everything right out of here. And I won't let you make you watch all this, but you get the idea. Now we can actually put in everything. With this mod pack, it's a little bit more complicated than just dumping everything in. You actually have to be a little bit more careful with where you put things, but for the most part all you have to do is uh, whoops, is take whatever is in the folders and dump it in alright now that we've installed that mod let's give it a try start up our new world and start playing with some of these mods Hopefully these will answer some of the questions that people have about Minecraft folders, where to find them, how to unzip them, and any other questions, feel free to leave a comment. Remember to rate and subscribe. Have a fun Minecraft.